Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. Sa ating previous videos, natalakay na natin ang Ortho Mode at Object Snap na kung saan mas madali na natin ma ang Precise Drawing. Kung hindi nyo pa napapunood o gusto nyo ulit balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video nito. Okay? So, sa video na ito, atin naman pag-aaralan ang tiyatawag na Polar Tracking and Polar Snap. So, in this lesson, you will learn how to create geometry at precise distances and angles from other geometry using polar tracking and polar snap. Siyempre, hindi naman need gamitin palagi ang polar tracking and polar snap, pero kapag nalaman mo kung paano at kailan lang ba ito ginagamit, ay malaking bagay na para tumaas ang iyong productivity in a certain situation. So, ano ba itong polar tracking at polar snap? atin munang alamin ang function nito sa ating drawing. Dahil halos lahat ng drawing na ating kinecreate ay nagre-require ng some degree of precision, it is critical na matutunan mo ang iba't ibang options for creating geometry accurately and yet efficiently. Sa ating mga nakarang videos, kung inyong matatandaan, you learned how to enter coordinate data in the form of absolute and relative coordinates. Itong mga method na ito, though mahalaga, ay hindi ganun masasabing efficient for creating geometry. So, using polar tracking and polar snap, you can create geometry with the same precision as coordinate entry allows you, but more efficiently. So, dito sa illustration na ito, the same paths are being drawn using polar tracking and polar snap. The alignment paths appear as dotted lines extended indefinitely from the point of your cursor. May kita rin natin na yung polar tooltips display the current position of the cursor relative to the last point selected. Bale, yung path sa left ay gumagamit ng polar tracking with an absolute angle measurement while yung pat sa right ay gumagamit naman ng relative to last segment option. Okay? So, in this illustration, polar tracking and polar snap are used to create geometry at precise angles and distances without having to enter cumbersome coordinates. To use these features, kailangan mo lang i-adjust ang options nito at i-turn on using the status bar buttons. Okay? So, next. Narito ang guidelines for polar tracking and polar snap. So, una, using polar tracking, you can quickly snap to predefined angle increments while moving the cursor to draw or edit geometry. Second, Polar tracking is more flexible than traditional auto mode that restricts your cursor movement to horizontal or vertical directions. Yet, polar tracking offers the same benefit of being able 
to easily draw lines at common angles. Third, using polar snap, you can select points along the alignment path that would otherwise require the use of cumbersome coordinate entry. And last, unlike grid snap, which increments all cursor movement, polar snap forces the cursor to move in increments only when the angle of the cursor is equal to a polar tracking angle increment. So meaning, kapag yung cursor angle ay hindi nag-increment ng polar tracking angle, the cursor can move freely. Okay? So let's take a look sa settings nito polar tracking so we can use the following options to control various aspects of the polar tracking feature. Okay. So, dito sa ating AutoCAD, sa under the status bar, so, punta natin itong settings ng snap settings. Lalabas yung drafting settings dialog box. So, dito, punta natin yung tab ng polar tracking. Okay? So, itong polar tracking on is kapag nilagyan natin ng check mark, meaning naka-on yung ating polar tracking. Kapag inalis mo yung check mark, meaning naka-off yan. Okay, so since na itong video nito is about sa polar tracking, so kailangan natin i-check yan. So para malaman natin na gumagana yung polar tracking natin. So next, under the increment angle, so ano bang function ito? So select an angle from the list to increment the polar alignment path as the cursor approaches the selected angle. Okay? So, so anything values dito ay pwede mong gamitin. Okay? So, in this uh, example, let's try to use 15 angle. Okay? So, next. So, sa additional angles, kapag yan is tinanggalan natin ng check mark, Meaning, hindi tayo makakapaglagay ng additional angles na pwede natin i-add dito sa increment angle na sinelect natin. Okay? So, kapag yan nilagyan natin ang check mark, meaning any value na in-input natin dito is pwede natin siyang i-add dun sa increment angle natin. Okay? So, paano mag-add na to? So, punta tayo sa new. Yan, then, input mo lang kung yung additional angle na nais mo. So, let's say 60. Yan. So, etong delete, kung gusto mo i-delete itong 120, so, delete mo lang yan. So, next. So, dito sa polar angle measurement, meron tayong dalawang makikita. So, isang absolute at isang relative to last segment. Okay? Kapag kinik natin itong absolute, it will display the angle of the alignment path as an absolute angle in the current coordinate system. Kapag naman itong relative to last segment ang kinik natin, it will display the angle of the alignment path relative naman sa last segment drone. So next, isat naman natin ang para sa snap and grid tab. So, using this uh, snap and grid tab, okay, so, pwede natin itong gamitin para sa polar tracking kanina ng mga settings. So, bali dito, we can enable precision course or movement along the polar tracking alignment path. So, under the snap type, so, uh, i-click natin itong polar snap. So, ibig sabihin, if we enter a distance, it will increment the cursor as it moves along the alignment path. So, then, so, under the polar spacing and polar distance, so, kapag naglagay tayo ng balance dyan, meaning, it will enable the cursor to snap to predefined distances along the alignment path. So, let's take an example of 10 values. So, then press OK. So,
So, let's take an example. Let's begin creating geometry such as lines or polylines. So first, we need to click this line button or line icon. So, then, uh, click natin yung point anywhere in this uh, drawing area. So, let's take space by first point. Then, drag the cursor to the next point. So, dito, uh, the polar tracking tooltip displays the polar distance and angles. So, makikita natin, ang angle dyan is 4.0392. And then, the angle is 0 degree. So, meaning, along horizontal axis lang siya or x-axis. Okay. Then, click natin yan. Next. Continue selecting points using the polar tracking tooltips for precise distances and points. So, let's try uh, in this uh, angle. So, may kita natin na merong distance na 2.7906 with an angle of 30 degree. So, click natin yan. And then, another one. So, any, any distance na i-type mo ay pwede. So, dito, in this, in this example, so, meron tayong distance na 2.6251 with an angle of 150 degree. Okay? So, meaning, naka-indicate ito o nakabata ito sa x-axis natin na 0 degree. Okay? So, yung sabihin, itong angle na kalinate niya ay tiyatawag natin na obtuse angle. So, click natin yan. Next. Uh, drag natin yung cursor natin along this x-axis ulit. So, pero, papunta tayo sa negative side ng x-axis. So, dito, makikita natin na yung uh, distance niya ay 4.0930 with an angle of 180 degree. Okay? So, ganun pa rin, nakabase pa rin yung angle natin sa 0 degree x-axis natin. So, sabihin, meron tayong na-create na 180 degree. So, click natin yan. And then, escape. Yan. So, dito, nakapag-create tayo ng basic drawing natin with the help of polar tracking. So, bakit? Kasi na-determine agad natin yung precise distance niya at precise angle. So, next. Kapag naman inactivate mo yung grid, a pattern of lines appears in the background. So, the area represented by these lines is referred to as the drawing limit. So, try natin. So, turn on the grid or snap. So, click lang natin yung appropriate button sa status bar. So, these two uh, button. Uh, this one is the grid mode. So, pwede mong i-click yan dyan. So, lalabas na yung pattern of lines. So, pwede mo rin namang gawin is uh, press mo yung F7 sa keyboard mo yan so meaning nag off yung grid natin so gusto mo ulit ibalik press mo ulit yung F7 ok or pwede rin naman na control G para mag off then press mo ulit yung control G para mag on yung grid so take note lang you can turn these two settings on or off independently of each other Okay, so uh, that's all. So dito na nagtatapos ang discussion natin kung paano naman gamitin ang polar tracking at polar snap. Sa next video, ating ipagpapatuloy ang isa pang method sa pag-acquire ng precise drawing. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, 
So, huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So, maraming salamat.